Hey everybody! For our Wednesday art and craft activity, we're gonna make rocks into insects. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is go outside and see if you can find any rocks. I'm sure you can find some good ones. But while you're out there, see if you can see any insects. So when I went outside to find my rocks, the first the first insect that I saw was an ant, and I saw a lot of bees, all different sizes of bees. And then I saw a lot of ladybugs. Maybe you'll see some caterpillars, but start thinking about what kind of bugs you'd like to make your rock into. So I already found my rocks and I started to paint them. First, after you have your rocks, you'll need to cover your table in some newspaper. And you might wanna put on an apron so that we don't get our table and our clothes all painted up. So I decided I would make an ant. And so I found three different rocks. It's kind of hard to see. I found three different rocks that I'm going to put together to make my ant. And so I'm going to give him some eyes and antennas just for fun. So you can use your piece of cardboard as a palette, and then you also need some paint brushes. Probably want a couple different sizes, and then a cup for water so you can rinse out your paint brushes. So I've let this layer dry. So you, if you want to paint it a solid color first, you'll have to let that dry before you go ahead and paint any eyes or antennas. And then you've got a little ant guy. Okay, and then I painted this one kind of a golden yellow color because I want to make that into a bee. So to make my bee, I think that I will paint some black stripes on it. I wonder what kind of insects you will find outside. There are so many right now. I know at school, a lot of friends used to look underneath rocks to see what kind of bugs they could find. I wonder if you have anything at your house, in your yard, that you could lift up. We also like to look underneath the logs. That was fun. There's lots of beetles, I think, under there. I also noticed a dragonfly the other day. It was blue, it was so beautiful. It was flying around my garden. Okay, I've got my stripes on my bee. I think I'll let that dry before I give him any facial features. I wonder what, if we can fit a smile on there, some eyes and maybe some antennas. 
Here's his little stinger. And then I'm going to make a ladybug also. Maybe the rocks that you find will inspire you to make a certain kind of bug. Like if you find a really long, curvy one, that might make a really good caterpillar. So this is its head, and I'm going to give it some spots, and then we'll let it dry so that I can put eyes on it. And there's my ladybug. I hope you guys have fun finding insects and rocks in your yard. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Have a good week.